All right, sorry about that. I didn't notice we were running out of time. So I'm going to make this one kind of short. Or, I don't know, I might do full time. I have time, yeah. I'll do full time, I guess. Anyway, of course, that got us yelled at a lot. That summer break was kind of special, to me anyway. It was fun. It's not just you. I feel the same way. I'm sure you throw those too. Right, you throw? Do I... Okay, I don't get to answer. Sun beating down on us. After school, the three of us would walk home together. Oh, so I was a black-haired kid? Okay. We would always wander around a bit before going home. Strong-willed Honoka and the Mikinita. Hinata. Together, we build our, built our secret base and had fun. Every day, we'd play until the sun went down. And when I, when I went back home, Mom would have dinner ready and waiting for me. That's how the days went by. Our, our unforgettable summer days. But he had to change schools, and our happy days came to an end. Even with I played with Honika, it felt like something was missing. Oh, this is him speaking. Eventually, I stopped walking home with Honika. I didn't play with her very much. I spoke with her, spoke with her less and less as well. I hold my, I hold myself up in my room. Honika and I became more and more distant. I realized only too late that things kept getting. The only thing kept keeping us that kept us together was Hinata. Hinata left for Tokyo. But now, shoulder to shoulder with the tomb again gives me a strange feeling. We all got a little bit old. We all have got. We've all gotten a bit old, a bit older. But if I could rain today, that'd be fucking amazing. It's almost as if we were able to return to those summer days. That's what it feels like. God, Jesus, fuck this. Hello. That was fun. I'm so happy the three of us can be together like this again. <laughs> Don't get worked up now. But yeah, that sure was fun. Same as it was back then. Shit biscuits. Er. Not to say that I haven't been having fun now. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Neither of you, no, neither you, nor you throw. Fuck my life. Learn to talk. By the way, Hinata, do you have a place to stay tonight? If you don't, if you don't, if and if you're okay with it, you can stay at my house. No, it's okay. I'm staying in the hotel. Oh, okay. That's good. That's a load off my mind too. Let's get together again tomorrow. Jesus Christ, my phone is going insane. Fucking Facebook. Speaking of Facebook, we had made a Facebook page, and I will post it in the link in the description below the first video, and I will put it up in the channel itself. So if you want to check out the posts that we may make in the future on Facebook, you can look at it there. Anyway... Uh, I'll be right back so I can take care of something on my phone. Give me 30 seconds. Best part was that took exactly 30 seconds. Okay. All right. Now let's continue. Honika. Okay. It's a summer vacation after all. Not like I have anything else to do. Yay. See you tomorrow. See ya. Later. Blah. I almost started cracking up laughing for some reason. Later, bitches. Oh, I have something to check. There's emails from Honika and Hinata. 
I'll be waiting for you at the pier. You better come. I'll be waiting for you at the secret base. I just want to talk. Just the two of us. Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna have to choose... Fuck me. God damn it. I go to the base. And after I see what happens, you know, I'll fucking go over there. Like I said, I'm going to choose one side of the story for now. And then after that, I'll go through the different other routes. You throw, you came. I was waiting for you. I really believed you would come. <laughs> I've been wanting to talk to you alone. After all, it's been so long since I last saw you. You really surprised me. I never expected your hair to be that color. Dude, bitch, neither did I. I thought you'd gone and become a delinquent while I was away. D did you not just hear Honika's explanation of me after you left? I became a bad boy, fucking retard. But I'm glad that it's not what happened. You're just the same as you were back then. Except I'm taller, have blonde fucking hair, and I became a rebel. Thank you, Yuthro. Thanks for staying yourself. I think that might be one of the reasons I like you. Oh. Huh? Oh, um, never mind. Forget I said anything. I really am happy, though. If you think I was the reason you got all gloomy. I was feeling the same way, you know. I was lonely. <laughs> you probably think it's weird how frank I am, huh? It's okay. I haven't told you a single lie. So, Yutro, do you remember your promise? The promise we made the day before I moved? Of course you do. I could tell, even if you don't say anything. Ugh. <laughs> I guess I am kind of tired. I think I'll go back to the hotel and go to sleep. Thanks for today. I'm glad I was able to talk to you. I'll see you tomorrow. So, what now? Do I go speak to Honika, or do I just go to bed? Oh god, I'm scared. It's night. Today was really fun. What kind of day will it be tomorrow? I quietly closed my eyes without a thought in my mind. Considering the game's name is Yanderella, I'm actually kind of scared to see what happens. I'm honestly fucking terrified. Oh, alright, day two. And with that, I think I can close it here. I was planning on doing the whole 15 minutes, but at the next save point, I'm just going to close her. It's morning. A new email has arrived. It's from Honika. We're waiting at the park. Let's go somewhere together with Hinata. Looks like it came 30 minutes ago. I should probably get, probably hurry up and get to the park. Triggered. Alright guys, I'm going to save it here, and now this is DJ Deoxin signing off, and I hope to see you again later. Alright, sayonara bitches!